Hello everyone, my name is Ching Wei Gong. This is the part 2 video of 6 stop quadcopter uh, simulation control. So in this video, I will show you how to use the download project. So from my website, after you download and unzip the project, you will get these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 files for MedApp. Uh, first, drone control and drone control 2019. These are the model of the uh, of the drone. And I provide two versions, two different versions, because some of you said that you need the oldest version of the Simulink model. But if you have the 2020 version of the MedApp, you can use the first one which is the drone control slash copy model. Okay, so let's start. First, uh, this drone signal square, let's open it. This, after you load this file, you will get a waypoint matrix. Let's look at the matrix first. Okay, as you open up, you will get a, a four columns matrix which indicates x y z and the time of of the target so at time equals one second the target will stay at zero 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 at time two t t equals to two seconds the target will move up from zero 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 to zero zero third and etc. So this is how you can set and move your target position x, y, z, and time. So here you can see that our target will first move upward, will fly up, then it will move uh, to the left, then move to the forward two, and right rightward one and then back to where it starts so it is a square waypoint okay after you load the waypoints let's open this xyz signal files okay. this script will generate the actual signal that will be feed into the drone control simulation model so uh, it uses some superposition concept to deal with the signal okay so you can just run it okay after you run it you will see the xcmd ycmd and zcmd which later we are going to use them to feed into the simulink model okay so here you can see this three signal. Also, you can open the sig x. Okay. The first one, first row is the time, and the second row is the position or the signal x. Okay, you can see. Uh, you can check whether your signal is right after uh, by looking at these three per parameters variables third step we should set up the constant of the model for example the mass uh, the initial state of the drone or the gravity okay so here let's open the set drone control files okay and just okay here the mass 0.2 and the inertia of rotation here I set it here simple time and the order angle initial order angle is set to zero okay also the body rate is also set to zero so the drone at the beginning is not rotating and here this is the initial position of the drone here I set it to one two zero xyz and remember uh, in this script, 
or this simulation, we couldn't set our initial position of the drone to 0, 0, 0 because the target, which is uh, where the drone needs to follow, the target point is set to 0, 0, 0. So we cannot overlap the drone on the target. It will cause some bugs and it cannot run like this. So you should always set some position other than 0, 0, 0. That is the point. Okay, and the gravity environment here, you can set here. Okay, let's run it. Uh, next step, open the drone control simulation model. Okay, okay, so as you open, it will be look, it will look like this. Then just hit the wrong button. Okay, let's wait it to run. I want to give you an entire demo, so just a little second. Okay, done. Then let's, after the simulation, we want to visualize our result. So open the animation script. Okay. And you just need to hit uh, run. Okay. Then it will pop out a window to show you the simulation result. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. You can see the black dot, which is the target, will move as the waypoint we set before. All right, so that is how you use this simulation model. Okay. okay, I decide to show you the second mode, which is the surrounding mode. Also, some of you have problems about the waypoint. Uh, which is how you can generate your own signal of the moving target. So I will show you and guide you through this. So you can open your waypoints and you can modify the value uh, in the matrix. But I suggest that uh, you shouldn't modify the first two rows, okay? Because initially, uh, the first two rows describe the takeoff process of the drone. So after one second, the drone will start to take off. But you can change this value because this is the height of the drone. Okay. So again, from time equals to one second to time equals to two seconds, the drone will take off from zero to, uh, to three meters. Okay, then after time equals to two seconds, it will gradually move toward the minus two x position. Okay, so from two seconds to eight seconds, it will gradually move toward minus two. And at the t equals to eight seconds, it will stop at this position. Okay, then from t equals to 8 to t equals to 10 seconds, it will stay at this point, okay, because you can see that the position of x, y, z doesn't change, okay, from 8 to 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it will gradually move forward to y equals to 2 position, okay, within 8 seconds, okay. So at t equals to 18, uh, the moving target will be at this position. Again, uh, it will stay at this position for two seconds. Okay, that is how uh, you can describe or define your position, uh, your position of the moving target. And be very careful. This is the position of your moving target. Okay. 
So that's how you can set up your waypoint metric. And after you set up your waypoint metric, be sure to go to the XYZ signal script to generate the actual signal you want to feed into the simulation model. Okay, so you should run it. And after you run it, let's set this drone to the surrounding mode. So change this from 0 to 0.5. Or you can, uh, the higher the value is, the drone will surround in a faster speed. Okay, I choose 0.5. You can set it up. Then you should go to the simulating model and run it. I already did it, so we will jump to see the animation result. Okay, so here let's see the result. Uh, in addition, here x limit, y limit, z limit. This uh, defines the boundaries of the 3D animation. So uh, if you are drawn, Flies up the boundary, you should set the value higher so that you can see more uh, of the entire simulation. Okay, the space. Okay, let's run it. Okay, as you can see, the drone will circles around the moving target. Okay, 